There is no event on the planet like it. Devil. The World Series of Poker main event. You know who wins the main event, whether you like poker or not, and that's why it's the one event that you still want to win more than any other. Winning a bracelet's everyone's dream. Winning the main event is, you know, ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. Man. A poker melting pot of pros. Amateurs. Are you kidding me? Come on. Is that good? I gave you a chance to bet your, 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 uh, could you have a flush? And everyone in between. First cows to ever win the main event. Many have come and gone, but the poker star power still shines brightly. This endurance test of Texas Hold'em is set to kick into high gear. Ready for the run to glory and the gold bracelet. Welcome to the 2011 World Series of Poker presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. The main event is here. They say anyone can win and everyone is ready to dream. Game time, baby. Game time. It may be day three, but there are plenty of big names and personalities still left. I'm still in, and there's about 5,000 people who can't say that. Jason Alexander of Seinfeld fame is still in, and so is the poker Brad Phil Helmuth. Hi everyone, Lon McCarron along with Norman Chad and Kara Scott. And like in years past, the main event brings out the masses. There's a look at the day one, two, and now current chip leader, 26-year-old Ben Lamb. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. What a World Series Ben Lamb is having. On his heels, 31-year-old pro Kevin Saul. A very unpredictable and tough player. He won a WPT title in 2007. We'll get a good look at Lamb tonight. He sits at one of our two feature tables. He's been the story all World Series long. In sixth place, Guillaume Darcour is a talented Frenchman with some attitude. Let's check in right now with Kara Scott, who caught off with four-time Braso winner Daniel Negreanu before play began. Daniel, heading into day three, what's the most important thing to remember for the player? out there? Well, not to panic. You know, this structure is bigger and better than any other structure in the world. You've got plenty of time. Uh, you can be really patient and you don't have to like lose your cool. But it, when people start to slide, all of a sudden, you know, stress comes into play and this is the biggest event in the world. So it's pretty stressful on the biggest stage ever. Well, play's about to get underway. Good luck out there. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Daniel at our feature table tonight with 114,100 chips. He has a slightly above average stack. The table led by Tom Coral. World Series of Poker, Atlantic City Circuit Champ, Henry Tran, always someone to look out for. We started with 6,865 entrants, third largest main event field ever. Winner will get $8.7 million. The blinds right now at 8 and 1,600 on the Jack Link's Beef Jerky Hole Cam. Christopher Skiles folds 6-5 off. That is Andrew Rose with pocket deuces. Rose calls for 1600 The main event used to be called the big one. Now it's unbelievably big, and no one calls it the big one anymore. Just under 1,900 players beginning here on day three. Okay. Dale Robinson looks down at ace four suited and then folds it. Daniel Negrano, king seven of clubs. You see a lot of limping in the main event, particularly early on with the amateurs uh -huh. here. And even with some of the pros, as Daniel does that. Sue yeah, Doyle, one of sure. 242 women that started the main event. No relation to Doyle Brunson. <laughs> Henry Tran, who won that circuit event back in 05. A6 off and a raise to 3,500. I do remember Henry Tran. We televised that baby. We did indeed. Ai Lee with ace nine, and he'll fold to the raise from the weaker ace. Now Rose, the original limper with deuces, makes the call, as does Daniel. So three players in for 3,500 each. Three hands that could be very foldable also at a lot of poker tables. <laughs> Here is the flop. King, Jack, Ace. Rose left with his deuces. Middle pair for Negrano. Top pair for Tran. Two checks to Tran. And then 4,100 from Henry. And Rose finally releases his deuces. But remember, Tran raised pre-flop. Daniel might put him on an Ace and Muck or Daniel might put him on a medium pair and call. I can see the hand, so I would muck. <laughs> Almost even stacks for these two pros. Call. Daniel makes the call with second pair. Two Canadians from Toronto heads up now to the turn card. Four of diamonds, no help to Daniel. 
After a check, Tran bets 6,200. That's a small bet. Daniel looks suspicious of his fellow Canadian. And Negrano kicks in his kings, and Henry Tran will take that pot. Negrano with almost 3.6 million in World Series earnings, but he's only cashed in the main event twice. As day three gets underway, we are reminded of just how difficult it is to make a deep run in the main event. Already, nearly three quarters of the field has been eliminated. Daniel Negrano is hoping this tournament will salvage an otherwise poor World Series that saw him cash in only two events. But on the other hand, Norman, there is Ben Lamb, whose place so far has the poker world buzzing. Ben Lamb. Ben Lamb. He's young. He's good looking. He's got lots of money. He just won his first bracelet. In short, he's just like me. Well, we have some similarities. <laughs> anyway, he's the chip leader to start day three, which means one thing, nothing. Hey, don't get too cocky, Ben. Day three chip leaders have rarely made the final table. There is Ben Lamb at our secondary feature table in the maroon shirt across from him, German pro Alexander Deboos. He's had some success on the European Poker Tour. At this table, Deboos sits in second place, way behind Lamb. Another familiar name to poker aficionados is Dan Kelly. He goes by DJK123 online and is a tournament force. Definitely a tough table out there in this 2011 main event. 26-year-old Ben Lamb presently in second place in the Player of the Year standings behind Phil Helmuth. He has King Queen off. I forgot to mention Ben Lamb also has a girlfriend. Another thing we have in common. <laughs> a raise to 3,400. Does your wife know about that? Old habits die hard. <laughs> Dan Kelly, DJK123 with ace, jack, and a small blind. This is another guy who's just too good, too young. Kelly, 22 years old. He makes a call in the big blind. Michael Ruby lays it down, so it will be heads up. Kelly with his ace, jack, and king, queen for Ben Lamb. The flop is queen nine, queen. Welcome to the Ben Lamb series of poker trips. Kelly checks, Lamb bets 5,000. It's been all Ben Lamb all the time. This matchup lawn reminds me of the Wonder Years. Dan Kelly is Kevin Arnold, and Ben <laughs> Lamb is Kevin's older brother, Wayne. All right, to the turn they go. 10 of clubs, Kelly with an up and down straight draw, but only the bottom half is live for him. Kelly checks again. Ben Lamb puts out 12,500. Tough call here for Kevin. Winnie would tell him to fold. But everyone seems to be calling Ben Lamb's bets this year, <laughs> just handing him chips. Kelly with the call. River card. Tray of diamonds, that misses Dan Kelly. And he checks a third time. Lamb will look for value here. With the three queens, 26,500 now to Kelly. Yeah, this is a much tougher game than the one at Robert F. Kennedy Junior High. <laughs> Paul Pfeiffer would tell him to fold. Can Kevin make this fold to Wayne? He does indeed. And there you see firsthand how a chip leader builds his stack. Sometimes in small chunks, sometimes in larger, but almost always moving forward. Chip leader does get stronger here. To the adder tables, we find comedian Brad Garrett. He just shoved with Ace King after turning an ace. Decision time for Zarek Megardishian holding only Ace Queen. I don't have much. You don't need much. It's me with 2,900. He sounds like a used car salesman, sir. I don't fold. Come on, we can have dinner together. I, I got a, I got a hand. What, if you got a hand, bet. Come on, it's good TV. You call. Yay! All right. Good luck, man. Seriously. Garrett, way ahead, but at risk. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Celebrity slow roll. <laughs> wow. Don't. <laughs> River card, another oh. ace. Garrett will double up. I love Brad Garrett, but he slow rolled that nice man. This place blows. <laughs> <laughs> In my way, Tony. Why are you clapping? I won. They're clapping because they thought I was leaving. They want, they want me to leave. I want the whole aisle cleared. The funny man doubles to nearly 59,000, about half the chip average, but still kicking. Here at the World Series of Poker main event, a big name does not guarantee a ticket to day three. The chance of surviving days one and two was about one and four. Michael Mizraki won't be back at the final table. Popular rapper Nelly and Ray Romano made early exits. 
Come this Set my second play. aces in five years. Cracked. Hoop star Paul Pierce made it to day two, but could not pull off the rare NBA main event double. Well, that was a great experience. I enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll definitely be back. Being a former main event winner does not guarantee you future success. Chris Moneymaker, one of several who could not repeat history. The legendary Doyle Brunson was knocked out early. He keeps hinting he won't be back, but we're always glad to have him. And the defending world champion Canadian Jonathan Duhamel was also knocked out. Next year, I guess.